So originally this started as a short story and now it's a poem and it's actually the, the first poem in my book. Mommy, my champ. Ama, hearing your footsteps cross our shoebox apartment, slow moving, dragging like a champ knocked to the canvas as the city enjoyed its second dream made my little heart a little sad. You'd come home, your body beat up, fatigued from back to back eight hour rounds at the factories, piecing together anything your nimble hands qualified you to. No belt, no fame, no glory, barely a living for your accomplishments forever unnoticed, blending in, exploited just like the others. Just a tired body, always a tired body you plopped onto the sagging mattress. I laid there feigning sleep. I didn't want you to notice me, didn't want you to exert your last energy to give me a tight squeeze. I'd watch through squinted eyes. You'd pull out your bag of healing from under the bed. Medicines from across the border brought back by neighbors, relatives who could cross the border. I'd hear the swishing of the liquid. you drench your arms and legs. The sting of the green rue-infused rubbing alcohol burned the inside of my nose. You'd slap your hands together, smashing and melting slabs, yellow ointments thick like lard across your joints. No relief. Even for relief, your hands worked hard. You winced from the aches, thin skin around your eyes folded like fans. I wanted to massage your feet, hot with plump, plumb veins. Wanted to drape myself over your wilted shoulders. Being poor wasn't so bad. It meant I could sleep with you next to your warm body, coiled like a snail's shell. No 10 count for you. Gansancio always had the upper hand. You were out for the night. I could smell you, smelling a botanica. Felt your hands twitch with leftover energy. No relief. Even for relief, your hands worked hard. Felt your heavy breathing. I'd stop my breathing. Waited. Exhaled with yours. No hugs at night, no tucking in, but my heart beat with yours. My champ, my mommy, counting my breaths to dream with you. Thank you. Voy a chismear. Smear the truth all over your face como mierda. Comen mierda los políticos, los pop artistas, los pinches ricos. Uh, rubbing their dollar bills in our faces, sweaty balls, teabagging our pride, brown, white, male, female, glitz, and glam. Shh, we eat it up. Fetishes. We like to have shit fed to us. <laughs> Twisted BDSM. Emphasis on the D for disgrace. Uh, Meanwhile, we're off Monday mornings to the fucking races. That rat game. ¿Qué quieres, pinche rata? Nada, güey. Solo trato de sobrevivir. De eso se trata. I dig my ball of fist deep in my pockets. Only come up with last year's dreams. Can't even afford lint balls. So what's the point then? Time to jump off that hamster wheel. Can't, until, can't continue to will them nor deal them anymore with the same prevention messages the darker they are, the harder they fall. More fall to this disease. Poverty pockets spilling over with needs. Shelter, education, love, meds for the diabetes, ADD, and more and more HIV. Give those folks a hug. You see them tracks? They've been laid for a while. We've known for a while now that poverty is the root of many ills. Poverty is the disease that can't be cured, you say? Whoa, 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 at ease, partner. 
Now you see them here, bootstraps, you've been telling me forever to pull me, myself, up from them? Up, up and out of poverty? I pull hard, harder from under me. But the darker they are, the harder we fall. In the dark about prevention resources, in the dark because the lights were cut off, all of the lights, all of the lights were sitting in the dark here, baby, because they cut off all of the lights. In the dark, like Highland Park, Michigan, because can't see, because we can't see them pull another one over us. Them thieves, those job makers promised they were gonna make it rain on our asses. The debt ceiling is falling, the debt ceiling is falling. Jobs are dropping. One out of five men out of a job, man. That's 8% unemployment rate, man. Unless you're a black man, you're dealing with 16%, man. 16 must be the number. Out of work, out of school, out on bail, no bail out, <laughs> out of luck. One in 16 black men diagnosed with HIV at some point? What's the point? Jobs take a dip, HIV AIDS hitting another tip of the community. Young black men, I stand here angry, fist in my pocket, pointing to the ground. So pissed off I taste metal. Wish I could take it out on metal. A black Maybach? <laughs> Maybe one day. I too will do it for a good cause. Unleashing anger, doing it for a good cause? Maybe one day. For now we wait. We'll go down, sit down and wait. Add your name to the list. All those who wait are waiting for rent money, a job, housing, meds, financial aid, aid. Where's my check? Wish I could run off the pain of getting screwed another day. Thank you.